Hi, hey, Malik. Willie Ramirez with the Las Vegas Associated Press. I am curious. I got a two-part question. Curious what you felt the biggest thing you needed to train and work on during the offseason. And part two, you have tremendous agility. And when it comes to the weight room, do you center things around the three main compounds, squats, deads, bench? And I'm curious what your one rep maxes are for each. Uh, this offseason, I kind of just, um, I told myself I need to be more disciplined on my diet. Um, I played last year probably like around 320, 325. Um, so I just said this year I'm gonna come in lighter. Uh, so I took took that step in February, and just I mean I said that's what I was gonna do is come in lighter. And then uh, lifting wise, and I'm a big squat guy. I don't really care too much about bench. I'm more dumbbell. The link is to Sean Ree from the Athletic. How has it helped you with your transition having Coach Marinelli here with you? Uh, it helped a lot. Um, I'm familiar with his scheme. I'm familiar with how he coach. I'm familiar with his system. Um, and I mean, I just, uh, I'm thankful to be back with him again. Hi, Malik. Um, Levi Damien from USA Today. I wonder, they're talking a lot about, you know, your leadership qualities and you know, mentoring and things like that. Is that something that when they, they wanted you to come to the team, they asked you to do, or is it just something that you just naturally do? Uh, I mean, when I talked with Gruden, when I first was planning on coming here, um, he told me to just come in and just be myself. So, I mean, that's that's what I've been trying to do to my best of my ability, just do uh, do things that I normally do. Um, I'm not a big uh, speech guy, not a big hoorah guy. Um, kind of just lead by example and just uh, do the th do things the right way. Malik, uh, Rod has a strong track record of developing defensive linemen and defensive lines. Uh, he's also kind of a colorful character, it seems like. Uh, for, for teammates that may not have known about his style, how would you describe his style and, uh, and, and coaching techniques? Uh, he's, he's demanding. And I say that um, in a good way. Like, he wants you to be the same guy every day. So that's the, that's the main thing. He wants to be consistent as players just as he is as coaching and people don't realize when you got a coach that, that demands that you run to the ball demands that you you're the same guy every day that's demanding on them too because they got to be the same guy every day so i mean um that's just who he is i mean he's like an old drill sergeant and he just he gonna get it out of you every chance he can yeah malik jerry mcdonald from the bay area news group um I believe I saw a video of you where you were talking about playing the three technique and you, you seem well versed in who great three techniques were in the past. Guys like Keith Millard and Warren Sapp and John Randall. And I'm just curious as to your sense of history of the position and, and what makes a good three technique in your mind? Uh, three technique got to be the dog. He got to be the key. Um, he has to establish things with his get off. Uh, I mean, yeah, Keith Millard, that was the first one I was introduced to from Marinelli. And then um, John Randall, of course, Warren Sapp. Uh, after that, Marinelli went to um, Chicago. So he had Tommy Harris and Henry Melton in Dallas with Tyrone. And then I came in. So uh, not to say I'm on their stat, they level yet or anything like that, but that's those are the people that I strive to, to be like or be more like. Hey Malik, this is Vic from The Athletic. I wanted to follow up on the weight thing. You mentioned last year you were at 325. What are you at uh, now? And another question was, I saw that you were a big time wrestler uh, in college. Uh, how has it helped you in, in terms of the NFL and in your current job? Uh, I'm at about 303 right now. Um, so I've dropped probably like 22 pounds since last season. And then um, wrestling wise, I mean, it uh, it's big for a uh, it's big for leverage and like counter rushing and things like that, but it also, it, it, it gets your hands out here. So it, it, it makes your chest more available. So uh, I try to get out of that because it's more of a, a grab and style, especially when you heavyweight. So I got to keep my hands tight. Hi Malik, Amber Dixon from NBC Las Vegas. After four years with the Cowboys, what are your thoughts on becoming a Raider and John Gruden has singled you out on a couple occasions that you're going to be the key of this defense. Have you been put in that situation before? Uh, 
I mean, four years with the Cowboys, they were good. Um, I was, I'm really excited for this next step, what I'm going through currently. Um, and yeah, he, he singled me out a lot, actually. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm ready for it. And I know, I mean, he's the man and just like Coach Marinelli, and I know that's what I have to be. Two more, guys. Hey, Lee, this is uh, Chris with CBS here in Las Vegas. Can I just ask you about the, uh, I don't know if it's so much of a pressure, but the uniqueness of having just a one-year contract when, when so many athletes want the extend. And what kind of mindset do you have going into a year when it's kind of like that, where it's where I'm going to really prove myself, my worth, and, and my, my abilities? And... Well, you just bet on yourself. I mean, I've always been a person that I got full confidence in me. Um, I know what I'm capable of, and the offers that came to the table weren't uh, worthy of my abilities, I don't believe. So I think that um, a one year was the best option to go earn more. Last one, Levi. I'm Malik, um, I, a couple of questions really. The one is just like, was there anybody that has um, really kind of gravitated toward you or you gravitated toward since you've been with the team and also kind of to springboard off the wrestling thing, what uh, type of wrestling did you typically do more of? You do Greco, sumo, freestyle, what was that? Which wrestling did you do? Uh, wrestling wise, I do more freestyle. Well, I did more freestyle. Um, now I just, I kind of just box in the off season to um, get that type of conditioning in. And uh, really just the D-line. Like I, I rock real good with the D-line. Um, yeah, Big Hank. Uh, Key, Max, Clee, I mean Carl, everybody's cool. Uh, Mohurst, so I mean we just uh, we just all working together and we all honest with each other every day about the work we put in and you know what I'm saying uh, we're not scared to call each other out and we just we're gonna be demanding of each other too. It just can't be coming from the coach. Thanks everyone. Appreciate it.